Wet Knight, the tight end, set at the top of your screen. Stenstrom looking for Wet Knight. Moves out, puts it up for grabs, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Aaron Glenn. Pass was intended for David Calabase. I want to tell you what caused this, uh, this ball to float, and that was a great push by Eric England in the middle. He bumped in. He bumped into Stenstrom himself. He just drives off the line. He's got his offensive lineman up, and look, he just pushes him back in the quarterback. And Stenstrom never gets back. He never gets square in the in the huddle. In, excuse me, in the pocket, he's got to throw it, and he just lobs it up. Again, here's the interception. This is just circle underneath it. Loop to pass. Going to the far side, has a man, and it's picked off. And now it's stripped back. That's a fumble, and that's LSU it's football. It's a Tiger football. That was a completion, a fumble, and LSU gets it back. Aaron Glenn had the ball and then had it taken away by Brett Besh. Watch this now. It's a poorly thrown pass by Luke. I mean, he throws it up. They were ready to call a fair catch on the second. It was so high. All right, but then here comes Glenn. Comes inside out, gets it at its highest point. All right, now there it is, completion. One step, two step, three steps, and Besh takes it away. Ball's on the ground, gets it back. Recovers it between his legs. First and 10 for Mizzou at the 36-yard line now. Johnson still has it on play action uh -oh. and picked off. Picked off by Aaron Glenn. Aaron Glenn with his third interception of the year. The pass was intended for Victor Bailey, and Glenn picked it off. Aaron Glenn makes a nice break on this ball. They're in man-to-man. -man. And what happens is Phil Johnson holds this ball too long. He waited until Bailey got into his break. He should have let ball, the ball go earlier. And Bailey's already in his break, and Glenn read it. He's reading the quarterback's eyes. There it is. He breaks on the ball very well. And that's something that a lot of the a and defensive backs do very well. And now we'll see if that rejuvenates. Uh-oh. Back to the action, picked off by Aaron Glenn. Aaron Glenn intercepts J.J. Joe, who is going up top on the first play after the punt. Glenn with his fourth interception of the season. Not a bad play. You come out on first down, you let it fly. It's just not a well-thrown ball because the receiver was wide open. I will tell you this, Miller was behind everybody. The ball was just underthrown. Len was beaten again. Look at this. He's waiting, he's waiting. He might as well put his hand up and call a fair catch because that's how long he had to wait. Still a good play. He's got a man and it's intercepted by Aaron Glenn. interception of the day this comes out like a dead duck because again they came with the blitz Buckley got there Teichelman got there falls up for grabs and look at Glenn there's help everywhere coming from the safety coming underneath but the ball was really thrown that way because of the Buckley and the Teichelman pressure actually hit him as he was throwing it and it came out like a dead quail Glenn with a second interception of the afternoon now has five alive with 323 on the clock 34 yards in the pass play. Look in pass. It is intercepted. Aaron Glenn. Touchdown, Texas A&M. 95 yards on the return. down back at the 35. They got celebrating by Texas A&M. 
Too many men on the field. We just say that, you know, if you think they are a cream puff, put them on the schedule and, and see if they are. Well, they beat a good Stanford team to start the season. And number 31. Here's the blitz by Atkinson inside. Just threw it behind his intended receiver. Kenny Neal, number six. Then Aaron Glenn is off to the races. Patrick Bates, 29, trying to take care of the last Texas hope to stop Aaron Glenn. throw again flipping it down the sideline intercepted picked off by Aaron Glenn who had perfect coverage you know they keep messing with Aaron Glenn on that side there and uh, I think you're gonna see about the last of passes Aaron Glenn and look who he was on that's the matchup we talked about Lloyd Glenn. Hill the leading receiver is, is right here at the as top man-to-man well man bump and run Hall's got the time. He unloads it quick like he should, but look at the position Glenn has. That's called hip pocket position. He's right in his back hip pocket. Hey, he makes a great catch. Anytime you catch the ball, it's a great catch. Big. Drills this one, and it's intercepted by Glenn. He said he may be the best corner we've ever had here at Texas A&M, but he makes a great break on the ball. Ball thrown. See the break. He steps in front of the receiver, the junior college transfer who played his first game against Stanford in the opener a year ago. Well, Brom now with two interceptions. And Mike a little bit in his slot left. And Eric England unloads on Naki as the pass is intercepted by Aaron Glenn. And there is the wrecking crew at its best on both ends, the pressure and the pick the third of the year for Glenn. Well, you can look at this picture and see exactly what happened. There's tremendous pressure coming, and he gets hit just as he lets the ball loose. Had to let it go high. And Aaron picked it off. Richard Woodley. Watch him keep his eye on the ball, Dave. All oh, Woodley that's laying do, out. All Woodley can do is, is from a prone position, watch the play by Glenn. And the Aggies now plus 12 in takeaway giveaway.